Oh boy! Oh yeah. Toad boat can go. Strama can go. <laughs> oh. Five hours until dawn. Shut up, Emily. Yeah, but will you please just get a hold of yourself? Just let me think, okay? Okay. Shutting up. I didn't realize I can I can move yet. <laughs> Just walk slow. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. No! I don't want to play as Emily! I did Jojo just immediately. Started going crazy behind me. I hear him panting. If we do manage to get someone on the radio, we will. then we tell them we need help. No shit. So what do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh God, not the lodge. Yeah, the lodge. Stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. My name is Emily. I'm Emily. Fucking Emily in Paris is a more likable Emily, and Emily in Paris is terrible. I can't see. What is that? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. I have not seen Emily in Paris, but I have seen Friendly Space Ninja's review on Emily in Paris. And it looks just the worst. The absolute fucking worst. I can't move. I'm so scared. Joe, why are you causing a ruckus, buddy? He's causing a ruckus. Oh no. Hold on. Just keeping an eye on things. Eh. Yeah, no. Oh, little birds. Uh. Why is it so windy all of a sudden? This is the mountain. We're almost inside. What do you expect? It's a mountain in winter. It's gonna be windy and snowy. No, oh, why is it so cold all of a sudden? Uh. Emily. Oh my god, Emily, get to the fucking ladder. Oh, you cow. Mm. Mm. I broke a nail. Bitch, go up.
Bitch, get out of the way. Let Matt up. I'm trying to fucking lighten his goddamn eye. Uh, my name's Emily, and I'm in Paris. You right? Yeah. Uh, so, no power. No power, like, oh my god. What is this, Nebraska? Oh my god. Yeah, come on now. Emily, oh my god. Wait a minute. Open the locker. Oh no! Oh, what's that? Oh. Sorry, Hannah. I'm still missing too. Oh my god. Hannah was so gross. She was macking on my man, uh, Emily. Oh no. Missing too, Beth. Right. Isn't there a thing that I can give Matt that'll ensure his survival? Unless we miss that somewhere. Cause I've been like, no, I'm not I'm not looking around, I'm not exploring, fuck that. I probably missed it. Wait. Hey. Here we go. You take this, might need it. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, I think that's it. <gasps> Butterfly effect. The effect is so butterfly. Major service for Blackwood County. Over. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Please say something if you're out there. Please, we need help. Over, over. Shit. Hello. Oh my god. Thank god. We need help. Please. Oh no! Something tricked the motion sensor. Probably a fucking deer. I read you, ma'am. Please do not leave your position. We will send out helicopters <laughs> to get you as soon as the storm has subsided. Oh. What? When? How long? Oh. At the earliest. Whenever the storm subsides, you fucking cow. <gasps> they said the title. <laughs> I wonder 
Mario is really crafty. It's like, hey, fuck this cable. I mean, I want everybody to survive, but I want more in Emily's passing. Doing a goddamn thing. Em, this is pretty unsteady over here. Matt, you gotta do something right now. What are you waiting for? I'm thinking. Let me think. Don't think, you idiot. Just get me out of here. Emily, you're upset. You need to calm down. You're gonna be fine. Ah, stop talking. I can't take it. But stop yelling at me and let me work this out, okay? No, you stop it! Why do you question every little thing I say? I'm goddamn sick of it! Whatever you say, princess. Now, will you please get me off this goddamn tower? Please, 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 Matt, just do something! I ain't gonna do a goddamn thing! <laughs> oh, fuck you. She'll be fine. Dad, Jesus. I'm just trying to find the safest way to get to you. You idiot, just get me out of here. Oh, oh. Oh. Emily. Oh no. Not not Emily. Anyway. She wasn't up there? I don't know. I didn't see her. She must have come down here. I haven't seen her either. Oh, cool. Second bitch. <gasps> Did that just happen? Damn it. What is going on around here? Self lighting candles. Don't worry about them. Chris. Yeah. What? Chris, I just want to say what happened back there in the shed. I know how hard that was. Josh was your friend. Ashley, stop. No, I want to say, I mean, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Ash, what was I going to do? Okay, I, 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 I couldn't let anything happen to you. I couldn't. Ash, you all right? Yeah, I just, I know. You and Josh were close, Chris. Let's just find Sam. That's why when it comes down between you and me, if you pick me, I'm gonna kill you. Cause I'm a- I'm a bitch. Ashley is such a piece of shit. No! Oh. Reddit M game, you don't have to say F, you can say fuck. Unless the ESRB is like, no, 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 you were only allowed like two fucks. Wait a minute. It really is booty. Did you see that? I don't fucking understand it. Uh, did, did I see what? That, Chris, that! What? That fucking 2024. It was like, it was like a see through shape. Like goddamn PS5 remake. I'm serious. Why don't you believe me? I said I 
saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? We, we've been through hell tonight, okay? Your mind is fried. My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. I don't know. I don't know. I just... I saw something, Chris. Ash, it's okay. You're just... We're, we're, we're both kind of out of our heads right now. I mean, we just... We gotta pull it together, okay? You with me? Chris. Let's just, let's just keep our heads. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's, it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and... What if Sam needs us? What if it Sam really is home? sad. Oh, God. <laughs> let's go. So it looks like we're not getting any skippy shit. For a second there, I was worried that there was skippy shit, but it doesn't look like it, so that's good. It's just, again, this could be so much smoother at 60 frames. In fact, the PS4 version is at fucking 60 frames. So again, that kind of makes this version of the game redundant. And if Sony announces that, the, that this on a PS5 Pro can run at 60... Sony's a bag of dicks, and they literally removed 60 frames from this just to have a selling point for the shitty upgrade console. That's my that's my conspiracy theory, and I'm sticking to it. Whoa. No! Oh, you gotta be what the hell is going on? Oh my god, that scared me. How did everything get so freaky around here? Door slamming and candles lighting up out of nowhere and that, that specter or whatever Ashley, it was. I, I, I think you're kind of ignoring what's really happening here. Don't tell me you didn't see that translucent white figure just passing right by us. We, we, we could be seeing things. I'm not imagining things. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I saw things too. I, I, I saw what happened to Josh in the shed. You know, that, that's, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, Chris, I know. No. You know what I'm really worried about? Okay, I'm worried about Sam. What, what, what's happened to her? If there's some maniac out here, then she could be dead too. Don't say that! Please, Chris. I mean, we did get caught. There's no handle. Dead end. The second choice is coming up too. I don't, I, maybe it's in this chapter? I don't know. But there's a single fucking choice that you make as Chris, and it dictates whether he, where, whether, whether or not Ashley will get him killed or not. It's really dumb. I hate it. And it, it makes me hate, well, it's mostly because I hate Ashley. Oh no! Wait! Chris, 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 the ghost! What? Did you see it? No! You were looking at your phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? Hashtag, there's a freaking ghost after us. Ash, calm down, okay? There is no ghost here. G ghost of what? You're freaked out because of what happened with Josh. You're not and paying attention. I saw it. I saw a ghost, and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like wait, Hannah. Wait, 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 what? baby pet. Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? I don't know, maybe. They didn't, because ghosts don't exist. Oh, okay? Zach Baggins would like a word with you, sir. I don't know. In fact, you know, hold on. Oh no! Oh no! What did that? Oh. Picture just jump off the wall like that. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rectify something real quick. Cause I just thought of it. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. We gotta transform him. Uh, there you go. Now he's watching the proceedings. Because they mention a spooky ghost, and Zach's like, "Ghost, you say? Oh my goodness! I gotta go investigate if there's a, a spooky ghost." Ah, here you go. <gasps> oh my God! Look there, Chris, you can't tell me you didn't Whoa, see that. Uh, see? 
It's, uh... You do see it! I don't know. I, 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 I just... I just it's fucking crazy. Chris is showing us the way. The San Jose? Oh. Look. Look, 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 Chris. You can see in the windows. See what? It's tiny furniture? No. It's a whole scene with dolls and everything. Yeah. And look, this little key, that's what I tell you, the ghost is helping us. Is it helping you? Whoa, 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 what is going on here? It's a doll orgy. It's like... It's not like anything, that's us. Hiding there, waiting for Hannah, last year. But it's, it's so accurate. I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think someone, I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Beth. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this all up, Chris? He's trying to tell us that he's going to come after us all, too. Yikes! <laughs> Oh no. It's it's Hannah's diary. I really think Josh is doing better now that he's out of the hospital. I saw him today. This was before, a couple months before we all came up. I saw him today and he seemed better. He's pretty upbeat, but he talked like he's been doing therapy for such a long time. Guess I didn't know. Mom and Dad never let on. Funny how you cannot even know your own brother. I kind of need a good cry thinking about how lonely he must feel. Everyone being together here on the mountain is going to be so awesome. Cozy fires and hot tubs and OMG, Mike, I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad, Chris. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have the key. Game. The camera clipped through her head. I don't think that was a thing in the original. What was that? That's like completely. How did you miss that? How did you not fix that, Debs? Maybe it is in the original, and I, and I never noticed it then. Oh no! God damn it! Nothing. But you did see it, Chris. For real. I saw something. But, but where'd it go? None you. Uh, oh no. There's a whole nother room through here. It's mammoth. Chris, I don't know if I want to keep going. Keep moving. Thank God all goddamn night. I'd like to get through like Where two, in the world are maybe now? three chapters. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. Did you know this was here? This, this is like a whole nother hotel. I had no idea this was here. I 
don't think I can take any more of this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about at my limit here, too. All I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened, and... To be honest, I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah, well, you know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. Great, so you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? I mean, who likes being made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. What? Chris. We made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. Oh you know, no. No. Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I understand, okay? I'm really freaked out, too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. God damn it. Ashley, come on. Why are you always right? I'm not always right. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't want to be. I want to leave. No. We've got to find Sam. Let's go. Emma, wait. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all of this. What do you mean? Which just doesn't add up. What doesn't add up? Any of this, the, the psycho, all this crazy stuff going on down here. I just, I feel like we've missed something. Something that'll make it all connect. Uh, I know what you mean, but I mean, who knows what that would be? <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh no, what's in the box? Oh, never mind. Oh no. from last year stupid prank uh, this is a little this is a little uncomfortable huh I've never seen this video I got your note she's just so glad you can make it so what she's so excited and alive she has no idea oh jeez Wow. Forgot you were such a willful participant. This is horrible. Couldn't feel worse. Looks like you were enjoying yourself. That's the worst part, isn't it? We were just playing a joke. It was supposed to be funny. Yeah. I never want to see this video ever again. Ugh. <sighs> Thank you. 
Oh no! Oh, no. Slow down, okay? I can't handle this. Ghosts and these videos and everything just, just flying Just calm down. Around. Listen to me for a what? second. What? Calm down? Why should I calm down, Chris? I am freaking this out This has right got to be someone messing with what? us. Think about it. Ghosts don't hook up video cameras. They don't play games. Then who would set this all up? Seriously, I'm asking. I don't know. Maybe the same person who tied you up and killed Josh? Yeah, right. The same person who might have Sam right now. Maybe you're right. I wish I wasn't. In two hallways, huh? Nope, not looking at it. Maybe that's where I came from. I don't know. Nobody tells me nothing. Those are Sam's clothes. That's just... Sick. I'd say that's just sick. So the psycho has been down here, for sure. Do you think he's still down here? I hope not. Why is this thing even here? Million dollar question. You gotta pee? Oh no! Oh! Oh shit! No! Get up! Oh crap. Ash. Ash. Uh, Shit, I'm gonna murder his fucking face off. <laughs> what is this? This is him. No, Chris. This is the guy who killed Josh. God. No! God. You murdered a piece of shit! You uh, monster! We're gonna die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going to die. I wish I could tell you. It's just not fair! Ah! What? Tell me what? It's too late. Chris, what's the point? Stop it. Just say. We're always talking around it. And now, I mean, 
<laughs> we wasted everything. Ashley, none of it was wasted. What do you mean? Every second that I spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? Sorry. I, I should have told you how I felt. Good, Chris. Ashley, oh. I swear when we get out of this. Oh, God. <laughs> Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't leave. Die. Hello there, my special little subjects. Oh, oh shit. Don't be scared. Oh, you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today. And now, he must make another. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley. Or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. Oh. <laughs> That was bait. Oh, fuck. That's bait. That's fucking bait. You choose her. Shoot the evil kill. She's a owl. No, you're a bitch. Fuck you. I don't want to die. You have gone too far now. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn? has gone too far. Huh? Now what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? You're sick! You're a sick fuck! Now, what the hell have you done for them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Psychopath. Hey, new chapter. All right, BRB. Okay. Get some water real quick. Oh, there we go. Let's get back at it. Sam. Sam. Wake up. Saru? How's it going, baby? So long overdue. Oh, sorry. I just saw the machete clip through that shit. That's clip foot. Oh, damn, those things were tight. I don't think that happened in the PS4 version either. Thank God you found me. Wait a minute. The flashlight beam is clipping through her body. I, I don't understand. How did you get here? How'd you find me? Just a quick maniac of you on the mountain. Yeah, I noticed. He lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out, and then I found this grate, and I saw you. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. And one of them showed Josh being killed. Just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on around here? There's a door here. It 
it won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? Wait, why, why'd we pull a flashlight out of a backpack? We already had a flashlight. Whatever. Better view of you? Alright, you got it. Hey. Jeez, you look like hell. Nice to see you too. What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know. Do you mind, Mike? Oh, uh, right. My bad. She changes fast, Saru. Okay, done. Let's put this thing to bed. I'm into that. What's that? Is that crying? Oh, fuck, we're back as Emily. God damn it. I wish it was Ted Raimi. Ted Raimi is... An angel. He dies in almost everything. He is in uh, uh, the quarry, though. Also, Sarah, tentatively, let's do RE6 Monday night. I think that should be good. I think. If if you're if that's good for you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. You dumb bitch. Oh, fuck off. I am semi grateful that we didn't watch the American version of The Grudge in the Discord last Halloween. Uh, even though I think it's a fine movie, Ted Raimi's in it and he dies in that too. Oh no. Oh. I'm Emily. Oh my god. I'm Emily. Yeah, baby. David Arquette's in the quarry as well. Uh 
whole bunch of people are in the quarry. That's kind of super... Ma I, I think the dev is super massive. I always get th them and super giant confused. That's kind of their shtick. Is they try to get, like... Actors. Like, Hollywood actors for their games. Uh... Some are more well-known than others, like, uh, Hayden Panettiere at this time was probably the biggest star. Although, you know, um, Rami Malek was, uh, was big at the time. Now he's much bigger. And then Peter Stormare is a famous character actor. Uh, I guess the guy who plays Mike is on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., although I never watched that. Uh, I don't know where any of the other actors or actresses. Um, uh, Man of Medan had, um... Fuck. The guy who plays Iceman in the X-Men movies. And then Little Hope had, I think, the guy was from... Uh, fuck. Some Showtime show? And I think he might have played the Joker on TV. I want to say House of Ashes had Ashley Tisdale and I think Courtney Hope who was also in Control and uh, Quantum Break was in The Devil in Me. I don't know who's in their upcoming science fiction one. Then of course, you know, um, Quantic Dream kind of does something similar with uh, Beyond Two Souls and Detroit Become Human. Uh, I think I think Quantic Dream and Supermassive are the only two studios that do these types of games. I think I can't remember. Um, with Detroit having this one actor who was in Cabin in the Woods, I don't know his name, I, and, uh, I can't remember his, his name or even his character's name, but he was, like, one of the main characters in Detroit. The, 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 the main actor I know of who was in Detroit is, uh, Clancy Brown, who's in Connor's story, and Clancy Brown is, like, the fucking bee's knees. He's, like, one of the, my favorite character actors of all time. Yeah, and, you know, of course, he's Mr. Krabs. Like, and he's no, he's no stranger to video games, either, because he was at the original Cortex in, in uh, the Naughty Dog Crash Bandicoot games. Michael Ironside is another one of my favorite character actors, although I don't think he's been in any of these games. And, of course, he's Sam Fisher in Splinter Cell. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh no. I mean, uh, to be fair, I do want her to survive so I can get that all survivors trophy, which is the hard which is one of the, you know, most time-consuming things to get. Uh But if Emily dies, then oh well. Cuz you know, Emily's the fucking worst. No, no shade to the actress. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not unfamiliar with her work. Uh, it's just all about the fucking character. The character is just... Absolute dog shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you probably, because you probably haven't played Until Dawn, because it's spooky. Yeah, okay, so the character we're playing as, Seru, uh, is Emily, and she is a bitch. And I, I, if I had to make an educated guess, 95% of people who are familiar with Until Dawn... Uh, hate her, and she's like their least favorite character. She is just a complete reprehensible, whiny, annoying bitch the entire goddamn game. No, the, 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 that is, um, 
she was on I think she was on some Nickelodeon or Disney show um and then later she was in this fucking terrible Netflix movie called Secret Obsession Outside of the curator uh, in the Dark Pictures games, and some minor characters, like character actors, I mean, uh, who aren't like the big names, they they don't really reuse celebrities all that often, from what I've seen. What the fuck was her name? Um, the Quarry Wikipedia. I like the Quarry a lot. Is a bit bit buggy, but um, uh, Brenda Song is the one you're thinking of. Yeah, she was on a bunch of different shit, like a bunch of uh, uh kid shows and whatever. And she's uh, Macaulay Culkin's wife. Oh yeah, Ethan Supley is in, uh, and Lance Henriksen are both in The Quarry as well. Um, and what, what's the name of the, 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 the fortune teller lady? Oh yeah, and Lynn Shea is in, in The Quarry as well. Like, uh, The Quarry probably has their, their most, the most recognizable faces. Especially because so many of them are, are uh, character actors known for horror movies. Uh, I can't remember her name, but the mom from Twin Peaks is in it as well. Uh, Laura Palmer's mom. And um, the lead... One of the leads in Detroit was the, um, the, the academic brainy guy from Cabin in the Woods. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, so one one of the gimmicks in uh, the Until Dawn uh, Seru is you can find totems. They're they're th this game's variant of collectibles, and they all show uh, various different premonitions of events that could potentially occur based on the choices you make, and a lot of them are related to uh, how the various characters could die because one of the gimmicks of until dawn and the other supermassive games is that virtually every single character can die uh, and th th as far as i know they just serve the purpose of just being a sneak peek and uh collectible slash trophy stuff they might unlock like concept art or something like that be cool if they like included like alternate costumes or stuff like that for the characters. Son of a bitch. But I don't as far as I know they've never done that. I don't remember if Dark Pictures or Quarry has anything like that. Oh no. Jesus shit. Yeah, I I really like the Quarry. Dark Pictures has been hit or miss, mostly miss. Uh, with House of Ashes being the best and The Devil and Me being probably their worst. Although Little Hope wasn't great either. I know a lot of people like Little Hope. I think Greedy really likes Little Hope. I fucking hated Little Hope. I thought it was a gigantic waste of potential. Yeah, yeah, let's 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 shoot for that. I mean, if it doesn't work, for you, Seru, just let me know. If something comes up on my end, I'll let you know. 
Uh, most evenings should be free, especially now that, you know, I'm settled into the house and everything like that. The only thing I know for certain is that it's... I don't know if it's going to be, like, early on the 16th or, or sometime on the 17th, but next week, Sniper Killer drops, which is the new, um... The new puppet combo game, uh, developed by Black Eyed Priest, and, uh, that is going to... That, that, that's kind of, like, my big... Probably my most anticipated game of the year, honestly. <laughs> I've been waiting for that since last summer, I think, when they first announced it. Same. And I know Ding Dong Dead is getting updates, too. I, I've been intentionally not playing it because of the fact that, like, I want more substantial stuff and I don't want to get burned out on it, but it's getting a massive Chapter 2 patch at some point soon. Yeah, I, I still can't find it either. I'm gonna... I might tweet at the developer and ask him what what's the name of the song. Because I, I want that goddamn song. Because that song goes fucking hard. That song goes so goddamn hard. Oh, I will. Shit. And he's also working on a, a couple other games, too. Including, uh, Booty Creek Cheek Freak 2. And I hope that OST goes hard. Like, of the pop puppet cr um, combo crew... Oh, she was down here. Um... Black Ed Priest might be my favorite of, of, uh... Of them. Because I, I like puppet combo, like the main puppet combo stuff, uh, when there's like... Like with Murder House and stuff like that, but some of the older stuff is kind of like mostly just jump scare simulators, and those are a little aggravating, like Nun Massacre. Uh, but... Black Eyed Priest has been really, really consistent with some, some dank-ass shit. Booty Creek, Blood Ra Wash, Ding Dong Dead, um, Night at the Gates of Hell. I don't know if Flamethrower Boy didn't see it. Yeah, I don't know the actress who plays Emily, though. Uh, I don't know most of the actors or actresses in this game. I just know Hayden Panettiere from uh, Heroes and uh, uh, Scream 4 and 6. Um, and then... I haven't seen it, but I guess the guy who plays Mike is from... Like I said... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um... And, uh... Peter Stormare 
Uh, is just a wonderful character actor. All around. Wait, didn't he die recently? If he did, I'm gonna be sad. No, he's still alive. Good. Um... And then, of course, Mr. Robot. You know, uh, fucking... Uh, Raimi Malik. Oh no! Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh. Oh, oh, very good. <laughs> Every one of you, you got my name. <laughs> and after all you've been through, good, 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 good. I mean, how does that feel, right? How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean, panicked? All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, 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 no. They're gone. I don't know if you noticed this, Josh, but none of us are laughing. Oh, come, 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 come. Why the long faces? Come on. It's good to get the heart racing every now and then, right? And race they did. I mean, every one of you just pitter pat, pitter pat. I hope you appreciated my little phantasmagorical spectacle. I mean, <laughs> no detail too small, no happened? opportunity missed. It was such. A delight to play the puppet master to to all of your Pavlovian panic <laughs> and, and all that gore and gore there was gore galore fake bodies I mean God that shit was expensive and no retakes nope 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 only double takes oh you should have seen your faces hook line and sinker for every little stinker Josh why are you doing this Yep don't even ask this squirrely little runt he's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. He's definitely off his meds. Oh, come on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done. You, Mike, he's sick. What? Come on, you guys are all gonna thank me when you guys become internet sensations. Internet sensations. Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got unrequited love. We got, we got blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China to, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking about, you asshat? Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you are gonna fucking pay, dick! Oh no! Uh, guys! Guys, come on. Seriously, this is crazy, you know? Shut up. Chris, bro. I'm not your bro. Where are we going? Where are you guys taking me? Locking you up, bro. What? We can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are, are you serious, bro? Goddamn murderer is what you are. I didn't do it. Michael, please, just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. <clears throat> are, are you insane? Like, like, like really? Do, do you not understand what you've done? I'm a healer, man! I bring people together! Not like you assholes. That's enough. You only see what you want to see. You're Stop lying. Talking. You are... Ah, dude. Ah, it's not my fault you suckers can't take a joke. Ugh. Oh, oh, wait. Did I hurt you? Did you just... You feel a little... A little bit oh, no. Right now, I am so, so sorry. Ah, stop it. Jesus, dude. Stop it. Michael, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am. That something happened to Jessica, but I swear, I swear to you, I have no idea what happened to her. Oh, shit, Mike. This. Oh, oh, 
Something feels really wrong here, man. Oh, you joking? I, I, I'm just having a really hard time that figuring out that he would, like, do anything to hurt Jess. I saw what he did to her with my own eyes. This, this, this is her blood. <laughs> but can't we all just get along? <laughs> ah! Damn it! <laughs> Not dicking around. This is not how it's supposed to go down. You're just a bunch of bully. You can't hang out a, a guy just to dry like this, guys. Huh? Not like, not like you got the guts to really do anything about it anyways. Oh, no. Oh. that you're the biggest coward there is. Uh-huh. I did something. I made you believe in the world I created. And I showed you parts of yourself you were too afraid to visit. You manipulated us. You tricked us, you hurt your friends, and you did it all while you hid in the shadows. You're a coward, Josh. That's all you are. Ah! Uh. 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 Okay, you're tying me up now, okay. Stay still, right, man. Right, 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 still. Well, can't, can't tie him up if they just wiggle around. Gosh, dude. I need me a little wiggle room, huh? What does it take to shut you up? Oh, not so tight, okay? Not so tight, okay. Can't wiggle room, huh? Just break the ties, that's where it's... What? In God's name, what is he talking, talking about? This is hard to watch. Your hostage types here. You ever say this kind of shit before? Guaranteed for at least three oh, hostages like or this. your money back. <laughs> stupid, 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 stupid. Chris and Ash. Chris is an ass. Ash leaves the dumb dumb. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, what did you say? Well, I said you're a dummy, dummy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, Ash. Ashley, oh, get out of the hole, you guys! Oh, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that you liked me. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. You know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop! Yeah, you know, you might as well let Ashley sleep with Mike. I mean, at least he's got some notches in his belt, you know? He'll treat her right! You fucking pathetic Christian! I'm gonna beat his head off. Don't listen to him. Not worth it. Hey, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike! What? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened? No. No, I... I don't. I got a problem. Mike. He is! I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. No, I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's... She's soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! I'm not gonna do any! Ah! You guys are the worst! What? Oh, come on! You expect me to believe you're gonna shoot me? Little old me tied up here and helpless. Hmm? Why don't you go back to the lodge? Make sure everything's all right. I'll stay here with this lunatic until the morning. Oh, sleep over. <laughs> hey, can we order pizza? <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah. We want to know everything's fine back there. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I did have Mike chop off his fingers, though, Cal. See you in the morning. It's character development. Fucking character development. Cal, have a good night. Hey, if you hear that dog howling, let him in. Oh, wait. New chapter, so BRB. <laughs>
I don't know what song you're jamming to, but if it's ended dark, yeah, you know, that tracks. Because End of Dark is a jam. Hey, thanks. I don't want to play as Emily anymore. How was your stream, Niku? Was it fanciful? Oh no! Were you a fancy boy? Were you a royal boy? You beat the game? I know you're getting close, because you're in the royal content. And during my lurk, I saw you were in, in January. So you definitely got to be real close. Nice. Well, good luck. I hope you can. Are you close? Niku, are you close? Niku. Niku. Oh, Niku, are you close? Oh, no! Are you close? This is an ASMR. This is hack fraud MR. I don't know what, what, what the MR would be. In fact, I don't even think I know what ASMR, ASMR translates to. Or, not, you know, is an abbreviation of. <clears throat> I'm just a big stinky stupid. Dude, you love Billy Beer. That's why they call you Billy Beer Snore. The billiest beer of them all. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the way. Ah! That's not as fun. Thought it was like. Automotive. Sludge. Uh. Machinery repellent. Yeah, there we go. I know what it is, I just didn't know what it stood for. Niku loves solid dicking of ear holes. That's why they call him solid, di solid dicking snore. No, not the one to go! Yeah, since this is all QTE shit, this is just auto automatically gonna complete, which is fine. It means M will survive. Although this is where we killed her last time. Intentionally.
Oh no, we're bitten! Oh well. That's fine. Oh yeah, it's gonna result in, potentially result in Emily getting shot. Because they're gonna freak out. We gotta defuse the situation. His name was Seru. Seru Lien Yu. Why was there an X on screen? Bug, I'm guessing. <sighs> Damn it, I gotta turn around the fan. I swear to God, dude. The PS5... eats up the room so fucking much, man. It's annoying. It is a fat boy. We haven't seen Matt in a while. He should be fine, though. You were screaming bloody murder. You were totally wrong. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down. Sit down. Something. Did you guys split up? The monster. The monster. What are you talking about? I said there's something out there. Ash, relax. It was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me, and it wasn't human. Hold on. M, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower, and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found oh it. Oh, my God. What the are fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. You made it. Oh, God, Yeah, yeah, Mike. barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Ring, Ben. Pernicus Pernicus. Hundred heroes. One out of a thousand heroes. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to. You can see him through the window. No, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Easy, Grandpa. Pass the Jeff Yard on the left hand side. Pass the Jeff Yard on the right hand side. There you go, Jeff. Say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Or oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain. Uh, I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <gasps> Wendigo! Who? What is he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? Exposition reasons. I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse. 
that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. find somewhere safe the basement might be okay okay get down there now all of you and wait what why for how long until dawn guys they said the title i ran off and left josh when i heard screaming where did you leave him in the shed uh, your friend will already be dead no no he, he can't be we, we were just with him a lot can happen quickly on this mountain no. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. The Wendigo. Oh, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Jeff, do you like the yeah, Wendigo? I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Oh yeah, no, he's great. At the end, you point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey. Oh, yeah, no, Chris is kind of a jackass. Yeah, no, the guy with the flamethrower is great. We need to hurry, son. I uh. I'll see you soon. I don't hate Chris. The one with the glasses, but you know, I don't like so, so particularly like him either. I hate her though. The one with the beanie. She a bitch. She a bitch. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, and it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal or human. All right, so pretty. Mild spoilers for an alternate route in Until Dawn. There's a sequence earlier in the game where the guy with the glasses and her are in this machine where a buzzsaw is going to come down and cut the two of them in half. And uh, the fake maniac tells, you know, there's a gun, on the, there's like a gun duct tape to, to Chris's hand. And the fake maniac is like, listen, I'm going to turn off the buzzsaw if you either kill yourself or you kill the girl, right? And the entire time, She's just like, you saved my life earlier. You, you know, you saved yours. Like, he's, he's, at, she's, he's like doing the noble sacrifice shit, right? That's bait. That's fucking bait. Because if you select her, first off, <clears throat> the gun actually doesn't have any bullets in it, right? It's, it's, it's filled with blanks. The whole thing was like this practical joke that a character set up to prank everybody because he's pissed off because they were involved in a prank on his sisters and his sisters are now disappeared. 
So if you shoot at her, even though nothing happened to her, even though nothing happened to her, during this sequence, the Wendigo show up and we run back to the house and she remembers, oh, you tried to shoot me. Even though the bitch was literally asking to be shot, and refuses to open the door, which results in Glass's guy getting murdered by the Wendigo. Now, that's not going to happen, because I had Chris shoot himself. So she's going to let him in. But she literally tells you, sacrifice me, and then, like, an hour later, is like, you tried to sacrifice me. I'm going to get you killed for real. And it's like, you a fucking bitch. I mean, like, how? Like, they've got schedules... Although she's not the worst character in the game, that would be Emily. Emily is the biggest bitch. I didn't ask. I like Sam. Uh, Jess, who we haven't seen in a while, is also a bitch, but she's a fun bitch. She's like she's she's a little nasty, but she's like fun and sarcastic, and it's like personable and likable. Emily is just vile, and Ash is two faced. Chris is whatever. Matt, who's missing, is also whatever. Josh. I have a lot of sympathy for him, uh, but his portrayal towards the end of the game is kind of a little cartoonish and kind of undercuts a lot of stuff. I like Sam. She's great. And I like Mike because Mike is the only character in this game who actually has a fucking character arc. He kind of starts off the game as like this douchebag asshole. And due to the events of the, sh the shit that happens in the game, he actually kind of steps up and, and kind of like becomes like this... Hero type. It's it's neat. It's nothing special, but it's neat. It's something. I do like Until Dawn a lot, Pren. I really recommend it. It's also on PS4, so you can play it if you haven't played it. Yeah, Sam and Mike are both likable for me. Chris and Matt are whatever. Josh is likable until he uh. Uh, until the later half of the game. This guy, this this flamethrower dude is likable. I like the flamethrower dude. Arguably, though, Seru, even if a character isn't likable to you, that's kind of one of the beauty, the beautiful things with this, with, with this game is the fact that uh, uh, every character can die of the main characters. So if you don't like a character, you can just get them killed intentionally. Yes, this is the one with Hayden Panettiere in it, uh, Prinny. It's also the one with Mr. Robot, uh, Rami Malek. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. And also Peter Stormare, who's a great character actor. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. Too late. Quiet. The quarry is also great, Prinny. I like the quarry a lot. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First. Dark pictures is hit or miss. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. Piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs. One piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. This this specifically is the PS5 version, the new PS5 Wait. version, but PS4 version's great. Oh, 
So this part right here, if you if you tried to shoot Ashley, even though she's fucking telling you to shoot her, she's gonna leave you outside and you're gonna get fucking mauled by a goddamn Wendigo and die. It's fucking dumb. I hate it. I hate her. Well, we didn't do that, so we should be fine. And the quarry is like this, but with werewolves. And uh, the 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 threat in dark pictures changes depending on the game. Oh my God, guys! Thank God. It took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he. Uh, he didn't make it. No. What happened? The thing. It, uh, Tore him apart, right in front of me. Oh, God. So you, you so yeah, because you hadn't played it, uh, Pren. Uh, no, this is not a slasher game. They advertised it as a slasher game. The first chunk of the game, you think it's a slasher game, but then they do the old rope adult bamboozle, and you're dealing with Wendigo. <laughs> you're dealing with humans that have cannibalized other humans and have been possessed by a Native American spirit, a demonic Native American spirit, and mutated into feral monsters that crave human flesh. I love Until Dawn. This game is great. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. I could tell you. Josh. Uh, it, would be a, it, it, it would be a massive spoiler, though. One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then... We're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Okay, you know, it, it, it's, I mean, they've already hinted at it a bit, and, you know, this is a remake of a 10-year-old game. Uh, Josh is not dead. The, the main wind, so the, the big start of the game is uh, Josh's sister, Josh had two twin sisters, Hannah and Beth. And Josh, Hannah, Beth, and the, eight, the, the seven other characters of this game uh, were up here at the cabin having a party. And... Hannah had a crush on Mike, who's this guy on screen right now. And Mike was dating Emily at the time. So Emily gets most of the characters. Um, Jess, uh, Matt, um, Mike, and Ashley to go in on a prank where they're going to like leave a note that Mike wants to hook up with Hannah. Uh, and film it, so basically, like, embarrass her or whatever. Like, stupid, dumb teenager shit, right? Dumb, young, 20-something shit. Hannah realizes it's a prank midway through and gets so embarrassed she runs off into the, uh, off, uh, into the mountain. Uh, Beth, uh, and Josh and Chris are passed out drunk. Sam had no idea. Uh, Beth runs after her. The two of them meet up, uh, and then there's something spooky running around. This is, this is the start of the game. There's something spooky running around. Hey, baby. There's something spooky running around. And uh, the dude with the flamethrower th shows up and scares it off. But Hannah and Beth get startled and fall off a cliff into the mine and are presumed dead. 
in reality, <clears throat> oh, and they've been missing for the last year. In reality, Beth died, Hannah survived, and in an act of desperation after being trapped in the mines and not being able to uh, uh, find a way out, cannibalized her sister to try to stay alive and became a Wendigo. So Hannah is the main Wendigo of this particular game. And she stumbled across Josh and basically abducted him. So Josh is now being dragged off to the Wendigo lair or whatever. It's great. And what is all that? So that old guy's bag. She did. Yes. She ate her sister's corpse because she was trapped in a mine unable to uh, escape. Uh... So it was either starve to death or reluctantly cannibalize her dead sister. And she chose to reluctantly cannibalize her dead sister, uh, which turned her into a Wendigo. Prepared for anything. Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You have been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. God. Yeah, it's just the plot of Until Dawn, Benji. Keep anyway. What we're playing I right know, now. I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just, Emily. It's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. Uh, you know what also What's fuck it. Is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. There we go. That's where it lives. Um... Oh yeah, so this is this is a determining moment. Uh, enjoy your sh sword, Benji. Yes, flamethrower guy is 100% scripted to buy, die. I like the free VIP slots for people I know. You know, if I trust, if you've been around for a while, I'll make him a mod. I got like 70, 70 to 80 mods, don't worry about it. <clears throat> You don't get to do mob duties. It's yes. mostly because of the limited VIP slots. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said that. Is that how it works? Yes. When it happens, if it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down. I hope we can get Emily what? to slap what? Ashley. You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Yeah, it's like heavy heavy rain, but fun and good and not, not shit. <laughs> Making yourself feel better about sending me to my oh, death. Oh, good. Team. My There's clippy a broke. Go out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with. Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go get out of here. Whoa, okay. Go, go, go. Mike, calm down. No, it's all good. Don't worry about it. You're gonna shoot me? Uh, so Mike, you get another shout out so we can get clippy. Safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Nope, not doing it. I want to, even though I hate Emily, I'm keeping everybody alive. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my god. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see. Anything and Sam, uh, Hayden Panettiere is Sam. She's one of the characters I actually like in this game. Yeah. And also the the guy with the gun. I like him too. Okay. And the flamethrower dude, but he's dead. I'll be back soon. That is, yeah, because they were talking about ghosts, and I figured, you know, because they they were talking about ghosts, we need to bring in Zake Bagans. You okay? Sarah, I'm trying to keep everybody alive. That was a weird jump. Weird animation bug. 
then again, uh, this remake seems to be pretty buggy. I thought that that he was gonna help us. Did the flamethrower dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. This be is tough. a remake. This is the PS5 remake that just came out. Man. It's also on Steam now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't reading any of this shit. This, um... On one hand, you could argue that this, this remake has more value than some other remakes, because it's getting a PC version as well. But it's also a remake of a nine-year-old game that is currently playable on the PlayStation 5. So just port the PS4 version to Steam. Not to mention, if you play the PS4 version on a PS5, the game runs at 60 frames a second. Meanwhile, this PS5 version is locked to fucking 30 frames a second, which is dumb. No, this, is a, this is a remake. It's a one. It's a mostly one to one remake. There's some tweaks here and there, but this is a remake. It's a brand new engine. They do. It feels smoother when you're like actually like controlling the character and everything like that, and the menus are smoother. If a game can go in sixty, I want it to be sixty frames. Yes, they fucked up the color grading with the remake as well. The color grading in the original had this like nice blue tint feeling like this winter horror movie and they kind of got rid of that in favor of uh, whatever the fuck this 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 color grading is is really dumb they also fucked the intro big I don't know if you've seen that or heard about that yet they completely changed up the prologue and like on one hand I get it you wanted to like they the the, the devs of the remake wanted so like they completely altered the prologue to Primarily focus more on like Hannah and Beth and like they're now playable and like you explore and like there's now new scenes with them however um, There's no there's real no new dialogue with it uh, and it Some of the old scenes were cut so things are kind of a bit of a mess it, it, and also they added slow motion and shitty new pop songs. Although big, the biggest change, the biggest thing, the, the thing that is fucking criminal, they removed Oh Death. You know, the opening theme song in the credits that is also used in every fucking Dark Pictures game. The remake fucking removed Oh Death for some reason and they replaced it with some brand new original song. And I'm like, bro, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? I wish I was fucking kidding. I wish I was fucking kidding. I do have an uh, NVIDIA broad broadcast on. Also, I guess if, if it is your birthday, big, happy birthday. But, uh, yeah. I was livid. Livid, big. I am still livid. You can't fucking remove O-Death. O-Death is fucking iconic to, uh, to Until Dawn. Yeah, it's been doing that. I need to I need to try to look into uh, a workaround to see if there's a way to like like get it to not do that because it's really fucking annoying. It's been doing that like a lot. I hate it. Uh, oh, maybe there's uh This might be it. Maybe this is it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. This might be I don't know. We'll look. Uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, <clears throat> um, I have everything enabled from. I hate it, but yeah, happy birthday, big. Uh, it's fucking dog shit. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, I mean, Last of Us, the Last of Us PS Five is also a remake. And it's also uh, equally unnecessary. Uh, unnecessary, Saru. Uh, although, again, like Until Dawn, it's, uh, it got a PC port, so there's that. 
Um, that said, uh, I, 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 in general, I hate this trend of remaking shit that's currently playable on modern hardware. Or remastering shit that's currently playable on modern hardware. Like, I may dislike the Silent Hill 2 remake, and I may think it's entirely unnecessary, because I think Silent Hill 2 is, is a perfectly fine game, as is. But, at the very least, it's a 20-some-odd-year game that's not playable on modern hardware, unless you want to fucking do uh, the HD collection. Or if you're cool with Abandonware, then yeah, that, that that's fine. But it's not playable on modern hardware otherwise. But this... Tra like, the, the Horizon Zero Dawn remaster that just got announced big did psychic damage to me. Because that also already got a... The Horizon Zero Dawn on PS4 already got a PS5 patch. Oh, you didn't hear about that? The remastering Horizon Zero Dawn. Comes out at the end of the month. Now, big... On the plus side, if you already own Horizon Zero Dawn on PS4 or PC, Sony is doing the, the cool cat thing where all you have to do is pay 10 bucks and you get this new version for free. It's not ideal because you still have to pay money and it's still an unnecessary remaster. But at the very least, you don't have to rebuy it. However, however big... Sony immediately ruined that because Horizon Zero Dawn had been on sale for like 20 bucks consistently for like the last three years on PS4 and, and, and Steam. And right when they announced the remaster, they jacked up the price by 20 bucks. So, yeah, Sony's, Sony's just a bag of dicks. Sony, Sony is just a shit heel company at this point. It's great. 10 out of 10. Oh. 10 out of 10. Oh, no, 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 no. Re Remaster Killzone or Resistance. I don't even like Killzone and Resistance. Remaster that shit. At least it's old. Oh. Uh, just a lot of crazy stuff in here. It's kind of hard to believe, actually. Comes across as... Kind of a whack job. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like now. Oh no! Oh yeah, Concord. Concord was a hot mess. Because of your it's, it was kind of funny, people have died. but also sad. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events. I just hope the studio doesn't get shut down. Death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur, because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? Like, remaster Ico. Again. Or remake it, so at least I can play it on modern hardware. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Or Siren. Bring Siren properly to modern hardware. Like, Siren 2 and Blood Curse, I mean. Has gone terribly wrong. Because I guess Siren 1 is playable on PS4. sisters have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Anyways, I can't wait for the remake of the Tila 2 remaster did you hurt for them? PlayStation 6. And the remaster of the Tila 1 remake for PlayStation why 6. Did you hurt them? Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Just a game? 
And I hope for your sake, Joshua. To exactly. Redemption. MGS Delta is also MGS Delta is in a weird spot for me cuz we just got the remaster collection. A chapter. Uh I don't really want to see a remake of it. I don't trust Konami. I don't know. I'm on the fence with it. Yeah, RE1 remake in the RE engine. That's to, it's probably totally going to happen and I I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Remake Survivor and Code Veronica. I want to see RE Engine Alfred Ashford in all his camp glory. God damn it. Beer B. Beer.